wanted to ask you, I've seen uh, in the media some pictures of demonstrators uh, not only protesting against President Morsi, or former President Morsi, I guess I should say, but also against U.S. President Obama, saying that President Obama allied himself uh, with terrorists, with the Muslim Brotherhood, with a fascist regime, uh, against the ambassador there, uh, Ms. Patterson. Uh, I don't know how prevalent that is in the crowd, but how, how prevalent would you say it is that this anti-Morsi uh, sentiment is also anti-Obama? It's no secret that U.S. foreign policy is unpopular, not just here in Egypt, but throughout the region, throughout the Arab world. Egyptians love Americans, but they don't love U.S. foreign policy. They will remember, they'll never forget that for decades, it was Washington that su supported the dictator Hosni Mubarak and his brutal police state. They believe Washington had never been out for the people. Then came President Mohammed Morsi, the Islamist president. Washington supported him, and that's why you're seeing many in this crowd criticizing Washington for that support. Earlier today, the leaders of the campaign, this rebel campaign with this petition drive, with a harsh statement aimed at Washington, suggesting that Washington should stay out of Egypt's affairs, accusing Washington of trying to impose its will on Egypt for the interests of Israel. Some harsh words, and it's a glimpse of how complicated Washington has it when it comes to Egypt and this region.